Now, Nick is going to show you uh, the tiramisu, which is my favorite dessert. That's my show, so I get to have my favorite dessert, <laughs> which I thought couldn't be done this easily. But take a look. Take a look. Like my father Vincenzo used to say, finalmente si arriva al capolavoro. Finally, we're here at the masterpiece. As a matter of fact, I'm about to show you in a few easy steps how to put together tiramisu. Are you ready? Pay attention. Nothing difficult about this. Step number one. We take the ladyfinger cookies, and we have here a bowl full of very strong espresso coffee, to which we've also added some coffee liqueur. You take the cookies, you look at them, you talk to them sweetly, and you say, off we go into the ocean to swim. Just enough so that they pick up a nice coating of the coffee and the liqueur, and then you line the bottom of the pan. And now we move to step two, if I can say so myself, the most fun step of all of them. As a matter of fact, as a child, I always used to wait for my mother to do the step because at this point, me and my brother would always clean the bowl. Are you ready? Follow the fingers. Over here, ba -ba 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 -ba. what we have is a combination of egg yolks, which we mix with sugar and then we mix with mascarpone. By the way, mascarpone is Italian cream cheese. Over here instead, what we have is egg whites that we mix together with sugar. Look what a wonderful consistency. Now, all that we have to do is take a little bit of this, put it in the bowl together, a little bit of this, put it in the bowl together, and we're going to mix them real well and fold them. Now, when you fold the egg whites and the egg yolks, you want to do it until most of the white disappears. As you do this, you see it amalgamates wonderfully well. You want to do it the whole amount. When you get to the point in which all of the egg whites have now incorporated the mixture, the last step that you want to do is to add a little bit of the ground chocolate. I use sweet chocolate. You can use semi-sweet chocolate. Once you get to this point, you want to incorporate this also into the cream. And look at this. You pick it up, you bring it in, you bring it Oh, this cream is so delicious. Just wait, I'll show you what to do with this next. Step three, and we're almost there. This is very close to the end, and it's the most rewarding part. Now, let me show you what I've done. I've already put a layer of cookies at the bottom of the, the uh, pan, the dish, actually. Then we covered it with the cream, and here we have a second layer of uh, cookies right on top of the mascarpone cream, and here comes the final last touch, which is basically to put a little bit more of the cream on top of it and spread it all around and do it like this because this is more fun. If you make a mess, it's good. And you know why? Because you always get to clean it up. And if you're anything like me, when you clean it, you eat some more. <laughs> step four, the last step, and this is simply decoration. Let's decorate the top with some ground chocolate mixed with cocoa powder or just cocoa powder if you want to. And what you do, you put it in a sifter like this and then keeping it concert, you cover the whole top of the cake. And once you cover the whole surface, what you want to do, you want to put it in the refrigerator and let it rest overnight because tomorrow, well, tomorrow you're going to have something really special. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Who doesn't need a daily dose of that? So here's just a taste of some of what you'll see. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.